Google Ads experiments are the absolute bee's knees within the world of Google Ads, in my personal opinion. They are spectacular. They've had some of the biggest impacts, some of the best stories we've created from my ads agency with my clients, and you should be using them. And if you're not, I pity you for the time wasted. So we're going to dig into these. I'm going to give you two quick examples of why they're awesome. Now, if we look at these two case studies. One of these is a SaaS brand. You can see that they had an experiment running. This was a simple landing page experiment with one of the experiments having one version of the landing page versus one other. So it's a straight A-B test. In this one, it had nine purchases. So cost per purchase was, I believe, around 800 and I think it's 852, something like that. And with this experiment, the alternative that we then tested it against went to around 16 purchases that led to around 400 cost per purchase so it halved the cost per purchase for this particular SaaS brand that's half the money to spend to get a customer that is wildly successful it's not 10% better it's not 50% better it's twice as good double your money for every bit that you put into Google Ads. That is spectacular results. And this was run over many months of testing with a lot of budget put through it. So this is very much a solid data set. And then this is an e-commerce example. This was, again, one landing page versus another. This was for one of its biggest ad groups. So they have a search campaign that we were running. It was about maybe 50, 60% of the traffic of that search campaign was going through one ad group. This was to do with a competitor as well. So we decided to create a custom landing page against that competitor and run it against their existing page that made most sense. And we managed to essentially double the conversion rate, which again, you can see halved the cost per conversion and significantly improved the conversion value as well from this particular ad group. So really powerful stuff. A lot of the time when you're making changes to Google Ads, you get 10% improvements, you get 25% improvements, and you're trying to stack all of those up against alongside each other to the place where you're then actually going to be making uh, significant progress. But with the case of an experiment, a Google Ads experiment within the Google Ads system, you can make massive impacts across your entire account with a single experiment, which might take somewhere between two weeks up to three months, let's say, is, is normally what we might end up doing them for. And so it's unbelievably powerful of a lever. I always call, talk about Google levers, and this is essentially my favorite because it can be one of the most impactful outside of making Google Ads optimized in all the other normal ways. So these are a couple of examples of e-commerce and SaaS for you. Now let's go to what actually are they? So let's dig into an experiment. So this is just an old search campaign that we have in my uh, Snowball Creations account. Snowball Creations is my ads agency. My name is Max Sinclair. We do this for clients all the time. And so uh, let's go look around the experiments section of the Google Ads interface. So this is the Google Ads interface. This is a campaign that we have not got currently running. It's just an old one we have. So we're not messing anything up. So we can then go to experiments. So you can see all the different ways that you can do experiments. Firstly, Performance Max experiments, probably a shit idea. I still find that more often than not, Performance Max does not work out. If you're spending huge amounts of budget, then it can be good. But in most people's cases, people watching this video, you likely are not spending enough for Performance Max to make sense. So uh, it won't be going into this area, but you can see we've got custom experiments ad variations. I don't actually generally use ad variations. I norm more often than not use custom experiments. And then this is just a summary of all of them. So if we go to custom experiments and then hit this plus button. So this more sums up the different types that are available. So Performance Max, they're always trying to push this because they're trying to make you spend all your money. Demand gen experiment. Fine. It's kind of like I just don't find a use for it, basically. I think it's them trying to push you into places that you probably don't want to go. Again, similar with video, is it has its place, basically. So in other cases, you might want to be using video experiment. But again, more often than not, don't worry about it. Um, app unlift, again, uplift, sorry. Again, this has its case, use case, but for most of you watching this video, you're not going to be using it. Optimized text ads. I just have responsive search ads that are, are testing against each other anyway. So again, I don't generally be, use this because I do this a different way. What I generally would recommend you do is a custom experiment. So this gives you complete control. It doesn't let Google do any weird stuff. It just says experiment with multiple campaign optimizations for any campaign. So this lets you just do what you want. So campaign type, 
you basically most of the time will be doing search display as the banner ads all over the internet is the simple way of saying it generally not very good do search <laughs> is the short explanation on that example uh, landing page experiment let's just call it that you can put a description if you want we're going to select the base campaign let's just say it's the usa positive impact agency search campaign suffix for the treat name so this just basically shows you what the name will be for the new campaign usa landing example landing page experiment so it just adds this to the end basically so we can do save and continue so now what we're doing you can see back to all campaigns we're, we've set up we're making the changes and then we schedule it so this is now the new campaign that we're going to be creating which is going to be competing against the other one so what we might want to do for example is change the final url paths there's lots that we could do a million different things if you wanted to you could do bidding strategies even or lots of other interesting ideas but let's just go with the landing page experiment for now so what we might do is I think probably the easiest way to show it within this video is select all 85 edit so let's just say you don't have different landing pages for each different ad group let's just say you just got the home page right now really simple so you might want to change all of the ads in this example experiment to have a different final url so you could do this much more custom so you could go through each ad group as a really simple example, maybe you've got a core landing page, which is your home page, for example, and uh, you want to test if having an inquiry form at the top in that top of the page or the home page is good or bad versus having it further down the page as a simple example of an experiment which could be genuinely very impactful it's not that different to the ones that I talked about earlier in this video so let's just say you did that you then might come up with that and it might just be home page dash LP as your landing page alternative so what we might come in here and do is instead of snowballcreations.com uh, that's maybe the home page currently let's just say that I'm sending all of the traffic to if I'm not doing any other optimization so then I might have you know let's just say dash LP as an easy example um, so that could be an extra new page I've created uh, which is a landing page for Google Ads uh, which has this alternative version you can do this in a million other ways but this is a simple example or uh, whatever else you want, might want to do let's just put PPC agency because that's another page in my website. So we're going to edit as the text, response to search ads. This is an experiment, apply. So this is now going through all of the ads that are in this campaign, replacing the URL with this new URL. So in, in obviously the idea being here is that we've got an experiment running. So that's now then done. All of these landing pages, you can see AdSense all pending now because these are all new and changed. Let's just say that might be it. So you've made your changes. So then let me move my big face hidden away further, make it smaller for us so we're not getting in the way of you lovely people seeing what we're doing. So let's just say that was the last thing that you wanted to do. So then you're gonna go ahead and schedule. So this is the last part of the experiment process. So then you wanna say, firstly, don't worry too much about this stuff as in this experiment goals section, but this is where you select up to two goals or other metrics available to decide what are the things that you're actually trying to improve. So it might be number of conversions and and cost per conversion that could be an easy one and let's just say we want to increase the number of conversions and decrease the cost per conversion so this tells Google what we're, we're aiming for from this experiment with the experiment split I generally would suggest that you make it 50 50 because in most cases if you say for example only put 20% into the new campaign it's not got as much budget, so it will find it harder to optimize as efficiently as the other campaign. So it starts to become a slightly unfair test. The only case where you might change that would be if you're already spending significant budget, and by significant I mean say like 50K plus, and you're already making a lot of good money out of Google Ads, and you're, you're you know careful about not damaging that or interrupting the steady flow of Google Ads, so you might, for example, drop it down to say 30% into the trial or even 20%. Or, you know, if you're a massive brand spending huge amounts of revenue, you could even drop that down to say 10%. Depends basically on your business, but generally speaking, for most of you watching this video, probably 50 50 is fine. You can do differences here, cookie based. Uh, with cookie based, it's basically captures their cookie and tries to remember who each individual person is and shows them the same thing. Versus search based, you can assign users randomly to either of your experiments or original campaigns every time a search occurs. There's some slight nuance in that. Generally, cookie based is the best direction. In some cases, search based might be, but yeah, go cookie based probably is a simple answer. 
experiment dates so yeah start date obviously this is when you want it to start so let's just say you wanted to start from tomorrow and then I would generally recommend a little nuance of the experiment date section is that you can't easily restart a, a, an experiment and they do have their kind of weird phases where at the beginning they're kind of a bit all over the place and then they get going so you kind of have to give them significant periods of time running and it can take longer than you expect to get a genuinely clear answer to what is the truth of, of the winner out of the two choices. And so what I would generally suggest is making this longer. I believe it's there you go, 84. 84 days is the maximum uh, that in this particular right now when I'm filming this video, Google lets us do. So I would just set it to 84 and like you can always just track it, follow it, and you should be doing this anyway. And then as time goes on, you'll probably find that there's a winner within that 84 days or it gets up to 84 days and maybe you don't get that much conversion data. So because maybe you're a very expensive conversion. And so you might want to repeat this for a second round of 84 days can potentially happen. But either way, I would generally recommend doing 84 days, the maximum, and then you can just end it early is not a problem. Last part, enable sync. So changes made to your base campaign will automatically sync to the trial campaign. So you don't have to make changes manually. I think this is a good idea. I would be generally keeping this on. The only thing I'd be cautious of is that this sometimes bugs, I found. I found it's a bit buggy. So don't expect perfection with it. Do always double check that it's worked when you're trying to make changes. And I would also say Google Ads experiments are not for when you've just started Google Ads. You want to be running the normal optimizations for a while first, so a few months at least, to let the account kind of settle a little bit. Let those campaigns settle down. So you'll be doing a lot of like handling of negative keywords. You'll be breaking up ad groups into more ad groups. You'll be turning off ad groups. You'll be doing lots of things like like that and you don't want to be doing all of those things as well as a Google Ads experiment in most cases because it can start to kind of mess the numbers up a bit. So I would generally recommend do normal management, do all the other Google levers that I talk about. You'll find other videos on this channel um, of uh, the other levers that I, I work with and I'll put, a I'll put a link to those as well inside the description of this video. Um, so I would work on those for a while and then once things have started to settle a little bit and probably you think you can improve on your conversion rate from your website, then do a Google experiment and then try to avoid making really major changes while you're running this experiment complete the experiment go ahead with the winner and then do some more of the basics and then maybe do another experiment after you know another spell of, of normal running is how I would approach it so trying to not avoid and, and overlap too much uh, between the two of them so then you just hit create experiment and then as you can see this is creating it for us uh, if we go back over here to the main campaigns list you can now see that there is this campaign that we were playing with and then there's now this one and you can see this icon is the experiment icon so this means that this is an experiment going on that icon means search campaign so you can see it's given it positive impact agency search campaign uh, USA example landing page experiment so these will now run alongside each other the budget will be split so in this case it says 50 so it would be 50 25 pounds each and they will run alongside each other and over time you'll slowly see the data coming through of these and you'll either see a winner or not sometimes there isn't a big change so fine, that doesn't mean that Google Ads experiments don't work. It just means that this particular experiment didn't come back with this particular interesting answer. I would say maybe 30% of the time that happens. 30% of the time there's some kind of amazing improvement. And 30% of the time, something actually is worse. So the original landing page is not better. So just be patient with it and just keep doing these. Do them regularly. They can be spectacular for your results. To sum this up, if you have all of your competitors, think of your three biggest competitors in your industry right now. Imagine each of them are running search campaigns with a professional like me competing against you. This is a hard, tough competition. And then imagine all three of them do one of these experiments. And so whatever you think your website is and their website is, they do one of these experiments. They try something different and they see an improvement of 30% better or 60% better or even 100 or 200 or 300% better. And then you stayed where you are. Maybe your website was better than theirs. Is it still better than theirs once they've done this experiment? Let's say they do that another experiment another two months later and it happens again. Well, then whose website is probably most likely to be better? So 
they will win. Whoever does these experiments, whoever A-B tests on their website will win. Most people don't do these things because they find it too complicated. Don't make it complicated. Just find something simple, like move the inquiry form up the page, or if it's e-commerce, you know, changing the uh, collections page or, or whatever else it might be that you wanna test. Try something, get it going, try something particularly different, see what happens. These Google Ads experiments are great because it's very precise, clear clicks coming through, nicely, cleanly split between the two. I promise you this is gonna make an amazing impact to your business if you implement and execute on this plan. So I wish you luck. If you have any questions, please do come to the comments and otherwise please do subscribe and like this if you found it useful. And uh, yeah, as ever, I'll see you in the next one.